Hello and welcome back, episode 189, even closer to the 200 mark. We are going to be detecting where a snowball lands and then running a command at that position. Now we don't want to check continuously, so first thing we can do is a little bit of setup. We'll make an objective so we know if someone throws a snowball. So let's have a scoreboard, objectives, add, snowball, used, snowball, used colon snowball, done, press that. Now let's give ourselves a snowball with a tag, give, give, nearest player, snowball, we're going to give it a custom tag, I'll just say check me, check me equals true, yep, and let's make the controller, it's going to have some long commands, commands will be in the description as always, controller, I always use levers, you know that by now, repeat, okay, it's going to be a long one, execute as any player whose scores equals, where did that S go? Scores equals snowball equals one or higher. And so that's executing at my feet. Let's lift it up to the eyes, anchored eyes at, and now let's move it just in front of my face, positioned 0.5. Okay, we are missing a target selector there. There we go. So, anchoring at the person who's just thrown a snow. Well, executing at the person who's just thrown a snowball. We're not doing it at the feet. We're lifting it up to their eyes, and then we're moving it half a block in front of their face. And we're going to then execute at any entity whose type equals snowball whose nbt equals item tag check me true with a limit of one we will run summon a snowball at those coordinates <coughs> so I throw a snowball, it's in front of my face, we execute at it, we summon another snowball. The reason why we're summoning another one is because we need a passenger. So let's give this one some tags. And we'll call it init, that's what we'll use to target when we initialize it, and we'll call one of them fix, we'll use that to fix its sort of uh, animation as it flies through the air, make it a bit smoother. And we need a passenger. Passengers is a list, square, we're going to have one passenger, it will have an ID of Minecraft, area, effect, cloud, yep, area, effect, cloud will need a due duration, make sure you get the capital D, um, let's say 6,000, that's five minutes, we're going to kill it anyway, tags, let's give it one tag, and we'll say run here because we are going to be using this passenger as the target of our command. Okay, done. And now we'll just simply reset the score. Scoreboard players, reset for all players. Snowball, done. And now we've got the next long command. We need to copy the motion from the first snowball to the one that we've just created, the one, the new one that has a passenger. So execute at any entity type equals snowball tag equals init as any entity type equals snowball tag equals not in it, the distance equals mm, naught to naught point one, limit equals one. And we will store 
success in the entity the position one double so we are storing a result if the next command we type in here is successful we're going to store minus two one one two into the pos one of the original snowball effectively that's just going to teleport it down into the void run what command are we going to check to see if it's successful we're going to modify the data of the new snowball data modify entity at e type equals snowball tag equals init distance equals naught to naught point one limit equals one what do we want to modify it's motion set from entity the original snowball motion cool so that command is going to copy the motion from the original snowball to the new snowball and kill the original snowball done now we've got a nice little short one coming up here tag not how you spell tag tag remove tag any entity type equals snowball tag equals init remove okay we've got too many square brackets remove init so we've initialized it already we don't need to initialize it again we'll stop that last command from running by removing that init done now we have the little bit that makes it just fly through the air a little bit smoother this is what the fix tag is for execute as any entity type equals snowball tag equals fix store result entity at s itself air into its air tag which is a short minus one run data get entity at s air so we're just changing its air tag as it flies through the air and that will cause it to update its position a little bit better it makes it fly smoother done last one we now need to do something at the passenger but only if there isn't a snowball near it so we are going to constantly execute as any entity whose type is an area effect cloud whose tag equals run here so at its position so we are constantly running this command at the passenger we don't want to run it constantly so we're going to put an unless in there unless there is an entity of type snowball within a distance of naught to 0.5 there it was one so we're going to run the command unless there's a snowball within half blocks range and then we will store success entity at s duration which is an integer zero run so the next command we type if it's successful we will put zero into the duration of the area effect cloud that means it will die because its duration has been set to zero and this is where you now put your commands for what you do where the snowball lands we will just do some particles we'll do some flame particle flame uh, at the position 0.5 let's give it a little bit of a spread a little bit of speed so they move a little let's make sure there's a hundred is a good number we can definitely see them uh, we don't need to force the particles we can just have normal let's say done okay so first we 
execute at the snowball, which needs to be checked. Or we execute with the player. We look in f at his head. We move to in front of his head. We look for a snowball with the check me tag. If we find it, we summon a new snowball with a passenger. Okay, that's fine. Then we reset the snowball tag uh, scoreboard. Then we kill the original snowball and copy the motion data to the new snowball. Then we take away the, the new snowball's init tag, so we don't keep copying the motion to it. We only do it once. Then we run this little command here just to smooth out its flight through the air. And then we check to see if our passenger has a snowball near it. If it doesn't, we run the command. Okay, it seems good. Uh, give myself a snowball. Snowball, please. Thank you all. And there we go. We throw it up. So it's got a passenger. It's got a passenger. And as soon as the snowball dies, the passenger says, hey, there's no snowball next to me anymore. I can run my command now. And because we said store success duration, we make the flames. That command is successful. So we put a zero into the duration for the area effect cloud and the area effect cloud dies. Perfect. We can now check exactly where this snowball is landing. You know, you could change that command to anything you want. Just have to change this bit at the end. Why don't we just do any old thing? Run, uh, summon, summon a zombie. Okay, it's probably gonna burn down. What does that do? Let's check it. Bang, we've got a zombie. We've got zombie snowballs. Okay, you can leave now because I'm just being a bit silly. Let's change its passenger as a zombie. Now, what does that do? I bet that'd be interesting. Zombie. Whee! Now we can throw zombies through the sky. Okay, well, we've finished, haven't we? I will see you. Let's get rid of that text. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Have a zombie on a snowball. There we go. Bye-bye.